Hi, I'm Sue. Hello, I'm not Mark. I'm Dakota. <laughs> Dad's this, behind the camera today. This is Dakota Dog and she is part of Nuts, Nuts on, on Tour. Tour. Shall we? Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Head down. Nuts on Tour. <laughs> <laughs> You're being silly, aren't you? Hey. hey? Uh, Mum sat down. I sat down and then all of a sudden I had a friend. And she's not moving. I don't think she's now leaning in. <laughs> but we don't mind, do we? Because we we can we can sort of snuff. Oh, hello. I can't see if that's actually on us or not. Hello. <laughs> Back the front. Oh, little girl. There's a big dog looking out the window. Oh, I'm waiting for that black and white cat to bark at. I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm hiding. <laughs> right. Oh, ouch. So now we've done it. Oh, hello. Oh. There you go. <sighs> Not that shy, are you? No, Daddy. Not that Not shy. shy. So, welcome to this edition of Nuts on Tour. At an angle. Welcome to this edition of Nuts on Tour. In this one, you've had us doing a prep, and then you've had us going away and doing everything that we did while we were away. So this one is what we do when we come back. So it gets another wash. Mm. It's mucked out. Yeah. Gets cleaned out. <laughs> and all prepared, ready for their next trip. Yep. Yeah. All I have to do then after we've loaded it up is whip in and just give it a quick vac. And what are you doing, you lemon? Plain. Plain silly, aren't you? You're just plain silly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just I'm on the table now. Them. Don't knock the drinks over. Ooh, not good. Not good. Don't knock the drinks over. At least you haven't been digging. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Don't knock that over. Here. So. That's it. You're going to move the whole. Oh. You're daft. So, on with the video. And remember, please, pass comments if you like. Pass comments if you don't like. Don't watch. It's easy to off. But if you haven't subscribed, we would love you to subscribe. It's free and it does help our little channel grow. Yes. It does. On with the vid. Enjoy. Well, we're now back from our trip. And of course, one of the things that you have to do is empty everything. So uh, I thought I'd show you about how we empty our tanks. So first thing because we have the air ride suspension it's uh, the the system has a setting for emptying the tanks so all you have to do see if i can do this what you do is set it to tank empty and it actually tilts the bus over plug her in lift the grate we have outside the house and uh, I can empty the grey tank and get all of it out. You can see the angle of the. Uh, you can see the angle of the bus now. She's well cantered over. And then the next step is run the hose pipe out and uh, clean the inside of the tank a little bit. I'll do that now. Go get the hose pipe. Here we are now at the back of the bus just in front of the bedroom and we have a pop-up floor panel so I'll lift that and we've got a tank with two access lids access ports whatever you want to call them so our next job's undo those and uh, get the hose pipe in and give it a swill out so give me a moment I think these are a bit oh that's one That's the other. Ah, not too bad. It's uh, I know it's not smell of vision, but the smell we use the Sol Bio. We put a bit of Sol Bio down our tubes every once in a while just to clean them out. So the next one, just get the we just use the hose pipe with the sprinkler on and give it a, a bit of a wash out. So I'll do that now. Here you are back with us about an hour later 
it's all been rinsed out if you can see that all nice and clean I've already put the other one on so pop that one on there just finger tight that's that done so now we put I'll make sure the lines are the right way around put the lid back on and then put the carpet back down hello big dog oh There we are, put the carpet back down and you'd never know we've been. Last job now, start the bus up. Yeah. Come on big dog, out the way. Yeah, start the bus up and on the, on the control panel, that's the one we've been on, the emptying. So now we just put it into park. We do that and she'll level the bus up. And there it is, all level again. So the next job now, unfortunately, I'll be washing wax and polish it all again. Cause she's filthy. It rained on the way there and it rained on the way back. Typical bank holiday weather. Oh well. Well, good afternoon. Ah, yes, now look at the state of the place. We got back on Tuesday. All I did manage was to strip everything out and actually take it all in and start getting it washed. The place looks like the wreck of the Esperus. It's an absolute mess. It's after our trip away, got grubby floors, everything needing a good hoover and a good wash. So, my challenge this afternoon, get this place ship shape. And try not to swear too much about it. Well, my first job will be to clear the decks, get out the fresh seat covers, which are actually under the left-hand side seat, and get those out and uh, toss out the dog beds so they can be washed. Get the stuff put away that's currently lurking in the crate over there. And then crack on. Nightmare. Looks lovely when it's done. And actually probably on the video it doesn't look that bad, but it seriously is in need of a jolly good clean. Okay, first job. Clear some of the gubbins off the seats that normally are put away properly and see if I can find the fresh seat covers, which by rights, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, are possibly could be under here. But I'm not I'm not holding my breath. Uh, everything but by the look of it. No, no seat covers under that one. There is the bedding, which I'll get out, and that'll come out for the next trip. Okay, rethink that one then. So, bedding, <laughs> no seat covers. <laughs> Okay, we will move to the opposite end of the diner. I'll push you out a bit further and lift this end if I can. There's a, a joke on Facebook you see every now and again of, I think it's supposed to be Kermit and he's flat out on the on the bed and that's having made the the bed in a motorhome well it's about the same doing the seats 
it is. So let's make a start. Found the covers. Right. Now let's find a small one. That looks like a small one. That goes on. I end up fighting with these for about 20 minutes and oh. Trying to get them in the right spot. But it does protect the, the leather of the seats, to be fair, especially from the dog's nails. Because they would not do these leather seats any favours at all. They wouldn't if they should get their mighty little claws. Okay, let's put the seat cushion down the right way. If they got their little claws in it. We have a variety of sizes of cushions. This is another smaller one. Oops, nearly lost you. And that the other small one. Yep, I'd say so. So that goes on there. That goes on there. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> now I've got to find all the sh bits of ribbon just to tie them up. And of course, when these ribbons fall off which I anticipate they will do eventually. I will have to use the suspenders that are, some are indoors, some are outside in, in the bus. So that's the next one done. And, and that goes down that way. Right, this one is a bit longer. So when you get to the really long ones, the fun starts. Now that's a long one. I think the rest of these are all the same size. That's a long one. Unless I've got another five to cover. I think these are all about the same size. I think the two littlest and the rest are all medium. So here we go. Now to scrap it out with the big one. Or one of the big ones. It's not the biggest. It's not. No doubt by the end of this I'll be huffing and puffing like an old steam train. <laughs> Which won't sound good on the vid unfortunately. find the same problem with fitted sheets. <laughs> There's an end somewhere. Ah, there we are. There's an end. And a seam. They seem a bit big. It helps protect the leather from doggy's nails. Ooh, ow! <laughs> Ouch. My finger locked up there. Not good. Right. Okay, here we go with the back for this side. See if we can get it tied on as you do. Then I need to do the big cushion at the other end. Right. That's that one. Oh, now the fun starts. 
Let's move the table here, there, and everywhere. Spin that round, move that out of the way, and move the table in that direction. Because my next one, the next one I've got to attack is this one. Ugh. One of the biggest in the bus. Ooh. It is once again find the edges. Not that when it's round it really doesn't help. And then <laughs> Fight with it. Oh, good fun in it. <clears throat> Got to do these things. Ouch! My fingers are in a bad way today. Oh, I'm going to clear the side in a minute. Tied on. Ouch. Can't tie a boat to save my life at the minute. <laughs> and then turn it round, drop it into position. <clears throat> Can without breaking everything. Oh, come on. <clears throat> As you can see, this is where our seat belts lurk for anybody who wishes to travel in the back. Not that we have passengers. I sometimes sit at the back when the dogs have got themselves in a pickle and I have to sort them out. Right, so just the back of this one to do and one over there. So we'll come back to you shortly. Good morning. This is day two of the clean. I'm currently working on, I've got to get up there and hoover that and get rid of the spider. This is working on the shower. I'm down to the floor. There is a bit of muck down there at the moment and then I lift that out and lift this out and give it a fettling in there then we'll be in here give all this a good clean up and a tidy up not huggins to do in here but yeah give everything a good freshen up so it's all ready for the next trip and give everything a good hoover where it needs it we have completed the kitchen albeit it's full of stuff at the moment and the front now looks much better all the carpets are done they're the mats that go down all under there is clean and tidy got to find a home for the brolly but yes looking much better and all the seat covers the fresh clean seat covers are all on the other ones are just are washed the two power packs under there, nicely out of the way. So yes, looking much better, but I will show you more when I have done a bit more. Right, well, that's a big improvement on what was there. It wasn't actually that bad this time, but uh, in there's nice and empty and clean. I've got the cap to go back on which is fun and there that goes on there like so so is that on there yeah just looks like it's not so yes that's a nice clean shower all i've got to do now is hoover the vent which is my next challenge 
So, moving on. Right, that is the washroom cleaned. Just got to hang the towels back up. That's all done and dusted. All sorted in there. The toilet is all nice and clean. The cupboard is nice and tidy. All ready to go away again. Just hoovered the floor and taken away the mats from next to the bed because the dogs do tend to knock them off and then you trip over them or you think there's a step and there isn't. So yes, all done. I've got the duck board back into the shower. So that's all done and dusted. So we've now got to sort out this. So get that made and sorted out and then we are done. I will hoover again before I finish because by the time I've made this bed I'll have made a lot more mess but hey ho. So yes we will get on. Okay well that's it. The bed is made, we've had windows cleaned, everything hoovered to within an inch of its life. These never move because they're actually velcroed to the side and Batty Bat has been with us for many a year. So yes, everything is done. I'll bring this this way a bit so that the dogs, when they should come out here, don't get all the way to the back. So they're not bouncing on the bed because I know what they're like. All the kitchen done and dusted. Carpet hoovered through here. I even hoovered out the under, under floor cupboard where we put all our dirty boots. So yes, everything is looking as it should before we go away. Right, that's the front all sorted. I actually leave the hoover out here so before, once we've finished packing again I can give it a quick hoover where we've been stomping in and out. But yes, got the umbrella hung up. Hopefully that will not come off there this time. But everything is clean and tidy. Everything's stored or stowed, however you'd like to say it. Everything is done and dusted. She smells a tree in here. I'm just going to shut the blind above my head so we don't fade any furniture. I've already shut the one above the bed for that very reason. I have <laughs> in the past, not with this vehicle, but certainly with the caravan, faded the bed linen. Not a good, good move, but hey ho, we're the only ones who see it, so it doesn't really matter. So yes, nice and tidy, ready for her next trip, which could well be towards the end of the month. We will see you later. To that. <laughs> and that's dandelion and burdock, by the way. It's not beer. Guinness. Guinness. No. Oh no. Guinness. Hmm. No. No. And it's not stout either. Oh god, that stuff was disgusting. Yeah, she had to drink that as I part of her. When I was having my chemo to keep my iron. Iron. Up. Yeah. So drink. you need to, you need to keep your iron up. So drink drink milk stout. Oh my god, it took me three, four days to even drink half a bottle. <laughs> it was disgusting. Hmm. Mind you, maybe some people like it, but it didn't each, do me. Each to the room, each to the room. Didn't do me any favour. Hmm. <laughs> Comfortable. Yeah, I've um, got my head on the table and I'm having cuddles with Dad. I've just crashed and burned Mum. Hey, you're silly, aren't you? So, hope you enjoyed that. Next week's will be away. So uh, we should hopefully, we're going away, yes, we're going away the middle of the week. So hopefully, hopefully. It is a site we've been to before, but we're actually going to go out and about. Yes, we'll be out and about. So we'll have some more content some to do. Content. Yes, different content. So yeah. our next thing, our next thing, I have, we've been to a few places, a few places where there are overhanging trees. Uh, or it's just been too damn windy to put the satellite up. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we found, stay there. Uh, what we found, yep. oh, that's it, she's gone. What we found was 
a digital flat pack aerial so yeah we were going to try this and see if it worked with the telly so that if it's very windy or we've got trees overhanging instead of having to uh, instead of having to uh, put the satellite dish up which obviously you can't if it's too windy or there's trees in the way it would still allow us to uh, to watch some telly if we were in such a mood so free view channel free view channels full hd tv 1080p 1080i multiple installation position table wall or window so we'll plug it in and see That's how it goes table. so something to look forward to in the next video hmm? till then right bye for now bye for now